Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here. Welcome back to Black Desert Online, MMO that I did a review not too long ago that it wasn't screaming the praises of Black Desert, but it also wasn't condemning it as another shit MMO that nobody wants to talk about. I'm actually having a ton of fun playing it, but we're going to talk today about the grind. Oh, the grind. A lot of people just cringe deep in their souls when I said those words. So let's go ahead and log in real quick. The reason I'm starting at the login screen is because in the patch notes, I just installed the Easter patch. And uh, let's go into, uh, let's go into Velia. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, they changed a few things. One of them is the, the loading bar. So just for shenanigans. Now, you'll notice I'm only level 28. I believe the soft cap is 50. And then from there, uh, it basically doubles the amount of experience you need every level to level up. Um, yeah, it's a little egg. Ah, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, it doubles the experience or makes it, you know, hella hard to level up, uh, but there is no firm cap. Think the way Skyrim does leveling up. Once you hit a certain point, it just takes forever to level up. All right, we're going to log in here. This is actually my map. I, for the longest time, I thought that it just loaded up like an image of the map. But no, that's actually my map with my quests, with the things that I need to take care of, with my connection points on there. I don't know, it's just kind of cool. And I can see, see where we're at here. What we're going to talk about is the grind. Now, I don't mean... Specifically, the combat grind, right? Like, you, of course, I log in and I'm at my fishing hole. Oh, oh, what am I doing with my life? Uh, I'm fishing. That's what I'm doing with my life, and it's awesome. Don't judge me. Get my daily reward real fast. So, Black Desert has been a absolute joy to play, and part of it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some flack for this, is because of the grind. Uh, I actually like having a long-term goal. See, the game is kind of like a pseudo sandbox. Let me swap this over to channel two so we don't see all the the gold farming spamming bastards. In this recent patch, they've done some work to uh, uh, alleviate this, uh, but you still get the gold people spamming gold farming bullshit. Come and buy buy gold in this, even though you can't directly trade gold, so they're gonna have to like trade you some item or something. It's pretty ridiculous. If you don't know, this is actually somebody's farm I'm running around in. All right, so let's talk about the grind though. The big goal that I set for myself when starting this out, because that's what this game really is about, it's about setting goals and accomplishing them. And I, I sat down and I was like, you know what? I love fishing in this for some reason. It's it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to focus on getting... That is a purple horse. Wow. That is, that is offensively purple. It is so purple. Wow. Anywho, uh, I wanted to get a boat. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy a boat. I'm going to build a boat because you can't buy boats. So, okay, I'm going to build a boat. That can't be too hard, right? I could get a raft. It's like, nah, I've seen the rafts. They're super slow. Um, they're, they're just god-awfully slow. Pally Time has one. I actually saw his in a video that he did. I was like, no, I don't think so. Not gonna happen. So let's build a real boat. Let's build one of the ferries, um, which is kind of like a fishing boat, right? So let me go into the map. I'll show you guys how you build stuff, and we'll talk about that grind. And when I looked at the resources to build a boat, I was like, oh, that's not too bad. That's not gonna take me too long. Maybe four days of really, really light playing. Um, this is the city of uh, Hydel, and I'm heavily invested in this setting, okay? I have every one of these white structures is a structure that I've bought and invested contribution points into. Contribution is one of the first things you're going to have to grind in the game. But I don't know. Grind is such a negative word. Maybe I shouldn't use grind. You're going to have to go out into the world, explore, and actually play the game to gain contribution points. Well, there's a lot of different ways to get it. Just doing quests is basically the main way you're going to do it. But there's a variety of different quests that you can get contribution for it. Uh, this is your contribution points. Now, I didn't realize originally that this bar underneath it was a level up bar. I thought contribution, much like energy, would just recharge over time. Um, but no, when you start off the game, you're going to have zero out of zero contribution points. And as you do quests, uh, and I believe there should be a contribution quest that I, I like to take. No, of course not. Of course not. Uh, anyways, as you do quests, you'll get these contribution experience. Like, they look like little medals. When you do a quest, I see if I can find somebody. I guess I have all these quests right now. Let's see. There you go. That's what they look like. Contribution experience. And as you you level up your contribution points, you can hold more, and then you can spend these on all kinds of stuff. But you don't spend them permanently. You see, I have 54 contribution in total, and you invest it into stuff. Me, I, personally, I invested it into this city into a lot of different structures in this city where I had to invest silver, you know, the actual currency um, contribution, and then took over a lot of these buildings so I could do different things. And Black Desert has a really cool, in-depth, like, 
uh, worker management system, almost. That's the way that I would describe it. So I'm gonna build a boat. This is the, the harbor building, right? This is the one that's the closest to the to the water, to the river that goes out to the ocean. Oh, my horse is down here. I should put him in the stable. Anyways, uh, this is my harbor. But to get into this, this is building five out of four, right? So to get into this, I have to have control or insert uh, contribution points to the nodes connecting all the way from building one. Building one, if you guys haven't seen, and I think I showed it during the live stream, is actually my personal house that I've got decorated with like um, a wolf head trophy on the wall and I got a bed in there and bookshelves and stuff like that. Uh, so I took that over first, took the floor above it as a storage room, which we go under here. Um, it'll have a contribution, invest contribution to take this over. I did so. It takes a few minutes for it to actually come under your control. And then you can spend silver to upgrade it. And this is literally just a storage room for me because I chose storage and you can only choose one of these. This could also be a mineral workbench. It could be a residence that I could live in for my, you know, just for me. Um, and every one of these buildings does something different. And this is what blew me away. So if I click this building that I've invested stuff, I've turned this into a tool workshop where I can build higher grade tools or better fishing poles um, to, to go out and, you know, manually harvest resources uh, like you would do in a normal MMO. Uh, I can make a mineral workbench, which will allow me to hire crafters to refine my stuff and to give me better chances of getting stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Now, when I mean hire workers, I mean legitimately going to this... Oh, where is he? Um, there's a guy here in town. You can actually hire workers. You have to get them lodging. Here we go. This building over here, lodging for my workers to work in. And you can get people to work for you. You can have a lot of these workers. So it's this weird, like... Uh, business management sim within an MMO. And you can focus on whatever you want. Now, talking about the grind, I was like, all right, I'm gonna build a, a boat. I wanna build the ferry, but I also wanna customize the ferry. So I, I got the harbor. Here's the shipyard, all right? This is the only building in town that has the shipyard in this town. Uh, and it allows me to build two ships. The crappy raft, which is literally eight logs strapped together with some string right that's your that's your that's your raft eh no thanks but the ferry is a legitimate ship right it's a very small ship so I'm, like, I'm gonna do that so i'll go to manage crafting i've got a worker working on this at least i had and i had just glanced at this and i said okay actually when i originally had done this i had just put my mouse over this and it says crafting materials. It says I need, uh, well, ash plywood, lead ingots, I only need 10 of those, ash sap, only 10 of those, black stone powder, only 10 of those. All that stuff, fairly easy to get, except for the ash plywood. That takes um, a ton of ash lumber, it has to be refined in three different tiers until eventually you get it. But I'm like, all right, that's not too bad. It took me about three days of really light playing to collect all this. I'm gonna have the boat. What I didn't realize, and this is the grind, go under manage crafting when I went to go build it, and notice it says one out of 10 right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on YouTube. If you're watching this on a phone, uh, it says uh, usable scantling, usable plywood, one out of 10, one out of 10, uh, actually one out of 20 for plywood, which is one of the harder things in this to get. Yeah. So what took me about three casual days to get what I thought was the requirement to build this boat ends up being only a 10th of the resources that I actually need. Now, right away, I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna have to grind out how much? Well, I kind of went at this the wrong way. What in the world is going on next to me with these horses? Let me, let me get, out of, get out of town a little bit. Let's walk over here. I was thinking, oh man, I gotta collect so much wood, so much lead, but I kind of looked at it the wrong way. Because this has that worker sim aspect to it, I can get a lot of workers to go out and get most of those resources for me. If I click up here, you notice all these yellow lines. This is a trade route that I originally set up uh, between Velia and Hadel, so I can trade back and forth between the two major cities and all their connecting little um, villages that I've discovered. But if I go up here into the forest, there's a lumber mill. I can click that and I can actually send, we'll send my skilled worker out there, level three, go start work. And now he'll head out there and he'll go chop wood for me and lumber. He'll do that, he'll drop it off at the city that he's based at. And I don't have to do anything. I just have to continue to play the game. But that is part of the grind. I can go out there, I can grind stuff out. So part of me was like, oh crap, that is a lot of resources that I'm gonna have to grind out. That kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna have to go up to like a thousand of these trees as soon as I say that I don't have an axe equipped and chop down about, you know, I don't know, a thousand trees or something crazy. 
And it is true, I'm gonna have to do that if I wanna build this boat, but now I have a long-term goal to work on, and I kind of don't mind because I can do that semi-AFK. Hey, my gathering just leveled up, sweet. Um, there are things that I can do to make it go faster. I can get gathering clothes. I can get better tools. I can invest in, into getting this particular resource. I can get workers refining the resource for me in town by getting a lumber mill in town. Let's see, uh, that's a refinery. I think there's a lumber mill in uh, this chain, maybe? Refinery, that's horse gear. There's so many like little things that you could focus on making and then sell it. Um, crop workshop? I wonder if Tabby knows about this. She's doing a lot of farming. That's her big focus right now. Furniture workshop, if you want to sell furniture on the marketplace. There's a lot of cool things that you can focus on in this. Um, but I don't see... It's in here somewhere. I'd have to go through all these to find it. But I can get a wood workshop so I can get a worker constantly refining the materials that all the other workers go out and get for me. Or I can spend my day fishing, grinding out fishing for fun and sell those materials to the trade merchant or sell whatever I get to the uh, the market, the player market, and make my money and then buy what other people have invested their time and their workers and their resources into to produce, like say that ash plywood that's a pain in the ass for me to refine, uh, and just buy it, buy it with cash. So I'm probably gonna do about half that to build my boat, but do I mind it? Is that the kind of grind that I mind? Not really, because it, it makes me want to do and specialize my character into a part of the economy, which I kind of dig. I do kind of dig that. At the same time, I'm like, God, that's a lot of work. <laughs> See, do I have anything that can be refined right now? No, I don't have enough resources to refine anything. I've got a ton of energy right now, and I want to use it to refine stuff. So that's kind of the idea for grinding. There is grinding stuff like fishing, but you can AFK fish. So is that really all that much of a grind? I mean, I guess it is. Leveling up in this, is that a grind? And you know what, we'll go out and get in some combat. I haven't felt like it, because there's so many things that I can do in this when I get bored of combat. And it happens, it definitely happens. Like we'll go over here to this bridge. Are we passing by my horse? We could pick up my horse on the way. Yes, we are. Well, I'll go over that bridge. There's some red orcs over there we'll fight. But um, I found myself starting up the workers to go do their thing, right? I do a little fishing when I'm low on energy, or if I feel like adventuring, I'll go out and I'll do combat, but it doesn't feel like it's the sole focus of the game. And I think that's why I like Black Desert. It's the same reason I like Star Wars Galaxies and Ultima Online. It doesn't feel like the game is totally geared toward me going out and butchering every NPC in the land. I'm just gonna run it. We're just gonna run it. We're gonna get some exercise. Character actually does level up his strength when you do this. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Like Tabby's big focus right now is half combat because she just likes wants to level up just like I do, and half focusing on farming so she can build make stuff for like her horses. She's making carrot juice so she can heal her horses and keep their energy up so she can run faster. Cause she's running all over the place. Um, she's focusing on farming like different levels and of plants and doing like. Wow, what was she doing? Um, I don't know. There, there's some really in-depth farming mechanics in this that I don't fully understand. She tells me about them all the time, but I'm just like, yeah, 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 building a boat. That sounds good. <laughs> oh, man. It's fun, though. Like, the combat, though, when we're talking about grinding, though, let's, go, let's talk about grinding in the combat. The combat is fun enough that it doesn't feel like I'm grinding. And I'm picking and choosing where I want to go to do it. People have been saying, oh, there's no difficulty in this. Uh, and I was one of those people for the first 20 levels, uh, the difficulty really wasn't there. Well, it got there. It got there really quick when I started exploring the world more, finding NPCs that were a higher level than me and fighting them. And since it's an action-based combat, right? Action-based combat mechanics, I can dodge and roll and block and play my character the best of my ability and take on NPCs that are two, three levels ahead of me. And that's where it gets fun, especially when you get a friend to join you. Of course, I'm like miles away and didn't grab my horse. But you get a friend to join you, like I get Tabby to join me with her, her archer character, and we're just rocking face. And it's so much fun because when they do hit you, you feel it. You really feel it. Zap. Couple of orcs over here. Hey! I can't even fight you. There we go. These guys are not higher level than me. They're way lower, but just to get into a little bit of combat, show you guys what's up. Block. 
to use special attacks. There's my stun, deep striking. I can roll back and then strike. You can combo your moves, so I can... Well, I can't do it with him, because I think he's too big. But I could grab him. Let's see if I can do it. Nah, he's too big. If you grab him, you can knock him down, and then you can start doing attacks like this. It'll do extra damage. If you get behind him, you'll do bonus damage. I mean, the combat is a lot of fun, and that alleviates a lot of that feeling of the grind. Especially how the questing system works. It's kind of like a radial quest system, it seems. If you go into this menu here and you turn on all the quests, you'll get a lot more than just go kill 200 of these, go kill 15 bear asses, uh, or 15 bears to collect their bear asses to give to some person. There's a person doing a trading run, and since she's not on her horse, she's training up her, her, uh, her physical strength, giving her more stamina so she can sprint farther. I mean, there's a lot of weird things you can do, and you always feel like you're progressing your character. So yes, everything you need to do in this game is a grind in some way especially if you're just looking at the end goal. But if you stop focusing on the end goal of just making your character stronger and start picking and choosing the fun things that you want to do, I think one, you'll be a lot, you'll have a lot more fun with it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 stop attacking that guy's horse. It's one thing to kill like the adventurers running around. Don't kill some dude's horse. That's messed up, Imp. Get out of here. Get out of here. Auto run. If you just if focus on the things that you want to do, like, I could do that quest for that shopkeeper, which I believe is, like, go find his cousin or something. And you'll find these, a lot of these quests will be repeatable. Uh, and you can get, you can grind out your contribution just by running around the land exploring and doing the random quests. Like, hey, this little girl got lost. Take her back to a village. I get those a lot. Um, this dwarf guy in the middle of the road wants me to take him to some far-flung city. Well, you know what? I was heading that way anyways. I'll pick him up. I'll get some contribution. No big deal. And I always feel like I'm making progress. That guy's actually a quest objective. Let's do this. These guys, their names are purple because they're quite a few levels above me. You'll notice the ones that I haven't learned about yet. Um, stay still. Focus on me. The ones that I haven't learned about, uh, we won't even see their health bars move. I think that's actually my quest to learn about these guys. The more I fight these guys, the more I'll learn. Well, eventually, um, it'll say, hey, you, you know everything there is to know about this guy. Now you'll know when his health bar is dropping. But this is the way you do it. If you want a challenge, jump into fights that you're not leveled for. Get a friend again. It's actually a, uh, for the North American servers, they've rebalanced the experience gain um, for fighting in a group. It's actually worth fighting as a team now for at least one or two people. I think it scales up, so you could go in with like a team of five. I haven't tried the, a big group yet, but you could rock this area with a few people, even at low level. Or lower level, I wouldn't say too low. You don't want people one-shotting you. Level does still matter. Block. Ow. There's a tamer here helping me out. Actually, she's just sitting there watching her, her pet kill all the things. I love the taunt. It's so good. Hey, that's my rant about grinding in this game. I'm finding it a lot of fun. I am playing really casually, though. I'm only level 28 um, out of 50, and the game's been out for a few weeks now, so probably the most casual I've ever played an MMO, but I feel like this is one of those games that uh, it works really well if you don't have the time to invest a 12-hour day playing an MMO um, with the auto-run functions, the AFK fishing if you want to, um, the stuff like farming, where you just leave your character logged into the background because your farm doesn't grow unless your character's logged in. Don't ask me why. It's one of those things. you got to be logged in. Um, yeah, like trading, where you can set up a trade run that's half AFK if you really want to, as long as there's no bandits in the route. Um, I'm hoping... Holy shit, that's a lot of troops. Where did you guys come from? I want to see you invade something. And the game just looks fantastic. I mean, look at this. It looks really good. Does the story get any better, though? Honestly, um, not really. Like, the writing is still pretty bad at level 28. I'll probably talk about that later as I finish the story or what's available so far. Um, but they are doing events. Right now, the Easter patch, I just downloaded it. I haven't done anything with it yet, but there are Easter eggs hidden around that you can collect. Uh, you can get decorations for your house and trade them in for, you know, sweet, sweet loot, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, you guys saw when I logged in the server that I'm on, because I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. You can always just go back to the start of the video to see. You guys are welcome. Jump on the server. Send me a friend request, which I probably just got one. Nope, some of my marketplace stuff is just sold. You're welcome to send me friends request. I will accept it. And come on over, check out my house. 
maybe do some fishing with me in the game. If I'm doing that, I might be AFK if I'm doing it though. So if you see me hanging around, um, I'm normally hanging around either here or south of Heidel, like uh, past the bridge. So right around here, that's where I do my fishing. So you see me, make sure you stop by, say hi. Hopefully I'm not AFK and I'll see you. And if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more about Black Desert, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to do a live stream of this. I want to set up, and then, this is kind of goofy, but I want to set up Captain Shack's Bar and Grill in Heidel. Uh, there is a building near the water that looks like the inside of a tavern. And I'm like, oh, I can turn that into... It's, it's actually the same structure, I believe, that I'm building my boat in, but on the top floor. It looks like the insides, two floors, of a tavern. So I'm going to make Captain Shack's bar and a girl. And I want to do a live stream where we see how many players we can get inside that structure. And what kind of, like, just big old party we can get going on. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So, all right, guys. Let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.